You dare. Oz goes pale as Beatrice caught him hidden Mike Bardos from royal events forever. Done. The tabloids and conspiracy theorists have gone full throttle at fanning outrageous claims surrounding Prince Harry. The duo, who have been a target of scathing criticism even since they distanced away from the royal family, now find themselves the subjects of a bizarre conspiracy theory involving supposed hidden recording equipment. Images of Prince Harry are making rounds among conspiracy theorists who claim folds and creases visible on him suits are actually hiding a recording device and wires. Journalist Toto English compiled some of those claims and shared them on Twitter. There are also wild conspiracies suggesting that Prince Harry was hiding the recording gear spread deftly across her shoulders. Angela Levin, biographer for Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, tweeted an unsubstantiated claim that the beleaguered Prince Harry actually planned to bring with him a USA TV station's crew to record the whole ceremony, and that those plans were foiled by Prince William inviting his brother to a walkabout. In other news, experts believe that Prince Harry's relationship with Princess Beatrice does not appear to be very friendly. Body language expert in Balhan Igman issued these claims and insights. She started by setting the scene and claimed, as the royals enter Westminster Abbey, Prince Harry was seen walking behind Eugenie, Beatrice and their other halves. At that moment, Eugenie and Jack turned to chat to Harry, which showed how close they are, even on such an important and well-documented day they took the time to acknowledge one another. According to Express UK, as Harry talked to them, he had his hands in a cradle position, palms facing up. This was a gesture of trust, of honesty, and he looked comfortable in their presence. Even Edo tapped him, Harry, on the back in a gesture of familiarity, so there was no animosity there. These gestures can't be faked. However, Beatrice broke away from the herd and her husband quickly followed which shows the less intimate relationship Harry had with Eugenie. Beatrice's attitude towards Harry is very fake, when she talks to him she smiles a lot and looks him in the eye, but when Harry leaves, she shows her real face with a smile. Disdain, which shows how much she hates Harry. Princess Beatrice wore ornate £37,000 earrings to her uncle's coronation at Westminster Abbey in London today as she made a glamorous entrance with her sister. The Royal, 34 lit up the room in a hot pink gown from Beulah, worth £695. The belted ensemble accentuated King Charles III's niece's figure for an elegant and stylish display. Gerard's pricey blaze pink sapphire, rubellite and pink opal hoop earrings made the perfect complement to her look, as did the subtly peachy smoky eye of her makeup. Beatrice wore her auburn tresses down in elegant waves and toned the magenta tones down with a chunky bronze headband and beige hued clutch. Meanwhile Princess Eugenie showed off her baby bump in an all-navy ensemble as she joined her family in London for the historic festivities. The mother of one, 32, who is expecting her second baby in the next few months, looked elegant in a deep blue smock dress, topped with a matching overcoat and headpiece. And her accessories were no less opulent than her sister's. The daughter of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson sported the album are all white gold and diamond collar necklace, which costs £130,000 and white gold and diamond drop earrings, worth £26,000 from Garrett. She wore a Fendi by Kim Jones custom-made navy silk and satin mid-length dress, finished with a plissa side panel. The ensemble was topped off with a cashmere Fendi coat featuring a matching obi belt and wore heels from the designer as well as Fendi Swarovski embroidered navy silk and satin gloves.